right? These deposits for vacation and summer camps, what do you do? Do you hold on to them? When do you action trying to get them back? Is there recourse if something happens, etc.? I think from my vantage point, this goes back to what I've talked about on previous episodes, the warranty of the credit card. Um, even if you've put deposits down, I believe as early as you know six months prior, um, you have the ability to go back in time with a credit card and dispute that charge. Don't hold me to it, Jody. You'd have to investigate it with each one of your credit card providers, but I'm pretty sure there's recourse and the credit card companies can flex their muscle uh, with these different folks. Now, you don't want it to get to that. What I'm trying to do in my mind is all these deposits that have taken place. And there's two major ones for me. And one is the is the, 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 the sleepaway camp for my son and the day camp for my daughter. And hopefully, um, we've already started to hear from one of them that, you know, they're already starting to talk about refunds and how that'll work, um, potentially, right? So I think everyone is still sitting and waiting and hoping and praying that will be able to have some semblance of a summer camp, of a sleepaway camp. I don't know how realistic it is, but for me, um, I'm trying to monitor and track those deposits very closely and I'll have to deal with them as they come. I guess worst case scenario is whoever you put the deposit down with goes bankrupt and they go out of business. What do you do, right? I think that's another conversation for it is what it is. Um, do you try to get all that money back and claw it back now and, and, and stomp your feet and try to be the first one to get your money back from some of these providers? Quite frankly, Jody, I don't know. What